Welcome, I'm constant disappointment. When it is cold and when it is dark, that usually means it's February, but not this year. Uh, so yeah, I was proper into the whole black metal scene or whatever about from about 1997 or 1998 maybe uh, for a few years. Um, I got into the whole thing through, I uh, hate to say it, but a great love filth. I can still listen to, I think a lot of people, especially in the UK, did also, and they won't want to admit it either, because you, you listen to some of this stuff still, it's, it's, it's still good, I still enjoy it, like um, Dark Throne especially, I've always got time for Dark Throne. Uh, Opus Nocturne by Ma, I don't love that album, sound of it. Uh, they're from Sweden though, obviously, but uh, Pure Holocaust by Mortal. If you're going to listen to Immortal, just listen to the audio, do not look at them, otherwise it will destroy all the atmosphere and you'll just be laughing. Um, so yeah, I was, I was going to wear my Alberts and t-shirt for this, uh, this Lisette Taurus one. Um, it's all grey and flaky because uh, of how many times it's been through the wash, but I don't know what I've done with it. Uh, so yeah, but by, by the time I, I got into it, or the, this was this was a, a a few years in the past already. I mean, the whole thing uh, became legend pretty much as as soon as it happened. Um, nobody really knew all the details of what was going on. I mean, Peter, it, I don't think anyone involved even is has completely accurate m memory of everything that happened. Um, there, there wasn't much to go on back in the day, now I've got the internet and all people talking about it and there's loads more details that I wasn't aware of, but I did look, I, I, I did look into it quite obsessively, obsessively at the time and there was just a few magazine articles, interviews, things like that, and internet of course, it was, it was the, the internet was just beginning to take off properly. Uh, so yeah, uh, I I liked it. It was a good film. It's very, uh, uh, very uh, what's the word? When you, in the past, when you um, uh, nostalgic for me. It was, yeah, it's a nostalgic for me. I think Varg was miscast. His portrayal was not flattering. I think towards the end, it it seemed to be a more accurate representation, maybe. But I don't. I remember when I was a kid. Uh, I, was he a kid then? Most of them were like teenagers. I don't know if he was a bit older. Um, but then you get to the end and you remember what he did, uh, and he's a horrible arsehole. So who cares if <laughs> if it was made out to look a bit like a horrible arsehole? Um, so yeah, I, obviously I knew the I knew the story. I read read the book. I, I think everyone involved thinks the book's bullshit so <laughs> I don't think that's the best source to go on luckily they they, they got a few more sources as well um, so yeah uh, that uh, it's, it's um it's free on YouTube at the moment the whole film so if you search for Lords of Chaos you'll find it I don't know if it's supposed to be there it'll probably be taken down by now uh, but yeah if you can watch that and then afterwards so it doesn't spoil the film for you uh, there's a there's a really good documentary on youtube as well just some interviews with various people and uh, that might give uh put it might put the whole thing into a bit more perspective give, give you a few more details if you're interested in the story it's uh it's like it is a good story <laughs> if it wasn't real it'd be awesome uh but no many people died so yeah, I'll put I'll put some links in the description. Uh, uh, see you soon. Look after yourself.